Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4 Anglophile. Um, so, in the last episode, we were conquering some more lands over in India, and we are going to finish that up here. I believe, as far as this goes, we're really just waiting on the institution. We have the manufacturers, no questions asked. And as far as the furnaces, I don't think we can build them yet. So, that'll come with next tech, I believe. Or maybe we do have them unlocked, we just can't. We don't have any provinces that are valid, but regardless, we got some time, so let's do some devving. Um, development. Um, I wish there was an easy way to see this, so. Um, we need to dev up all of these. Well, let me see which ones it is, actually. Okay, so we need to dev up these guys. So let's get Danisher. Need it up to what? 25? Easier said than done. There you go. Uh, let's get this one four. Okay, let's get this one up. Very good. Ooh, sheesh. Can't even afford it. Too pricey. So let's get that one. Cornwall is topped off now. So let's see here. For this industrial revolution, we have five more provinces. Just these guys over here. Realistically, I should um, click this as well, just to save me a couple of points. And that's fine. So we're making 600 ducats a month. Goodness gracious. That's a large net right there. Um, manufacturers are all up here. Forts are all upgraded, especially in Prussia. Prussia, are you getting subsidies? What does your economy look like? You have 16. So they're getting subsidies from us. They have manpower. I don't know why they're not building army. Hopefully they will soon. Um, and so what's our next move looking like then? Greek separatists. Greek separatists where? Here? Really? How can you assign provinces to a client state? I thought it doesn't let you if they're overseas, right? Is this not considered overseas? Excuse me? Yeah, this is overseas. These are not overseas. I don't understand how client states work. Anyways, we could probably get a little more land concessions from Portugal. Just need to be willing to come over here and siege all this stuff down. Truce with them is not up for quite a while, so I guess we're just speed five in it, waiting. We do have imperialism, so I suppose we could probably do a little more expansion if we really wanted to. Uh, Castile has some land in Brazil, Peru. Um, I guess I, if anything, if there's anything I want from Castile, it would be like their actual mainland stuff. Um, so where are all these armies at? So you guys are down here, very good. So let's get you guys, I don't know, chilling there, I guess. Over here, here. So over here. So you guys are there. That would be a good army to, uh, to have over this way. That's good. That's fine. All right, cool. So I think that is what we're going to do, especially considering the fact that uh, Spain has, or I guess it's Castile. They never even formed Spain. They have lots of rebel issues. So let's go with imperialism. We will call Austria-Hungary in. Scandinavia will come in, but I don't think I'm too concerned about them. And we will send in um, you. Very good. Kill a couple of his troops. Very good. Suppose I might as well take a river crossing in to see if I can stack wipe his army. Did not stack wipe, but very close. Might be able to chase him down. Somehow Prussia has 16k over here already. It's impressive. Um, where are they at? So they're over here. Let's see if we can force march over. Catch him. No, 
it doesn't look like it. I might be able to, um... Yeah. Let's rush the siege here. Catch him with his pants down, so to speak. So he's locked in. It's drylands. No river crossing. No. Really? Wait a minute. Hold on. What was that? Why are they coming this way? Ooh, okay. Um, I don't care if the Pope Man hates me. The Pope Man can hate me all he wants. Doesn't change my opinion. Okay, so let's get you guys spread out. I think we're waiting on the stab. Get some stuff converted. Let's also convert for... Uh, no. Nah. Okay, let's get all that converted. Overkill. We have way more men than they do. Quite a lot more. Goodness gracious. Um, yeah, I'll take a claim on Ancona. Sounds good to me. Give me a claim on Tuscany. And just like that, we have them almost full occupied. <laughs> That's pretty good. Let's see if we can get you guys over here. Looks like our uh, colony is done. Somehow I don't have a colonist on my colony. Okay. And we're just gonna siege down Castile. So, Scandinavia has lots of men over here. I think the sooner I piece them out, the better. Don't really want to deal with their crap. I'm good with just, uh, you know, devastating him up a bit. Brazil will probably have... Oh, they don't have any liberty desire, so I guess that's, you know, nothing to worry about, I suppose. <clears throat> we'll see if we can get a good fight over here with them. Very good. Kill a couple of his men. So get you guys over here. Somehow, walking through all these provinces is faster than that. Marat. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, what is what province? Goa. I have one rebel province. Ten days, come on. Stupid. Alright, um... So I suppose the best thing to do is to, uh, you know, kind of snake down. Take all his forts. Might as well take the whole state there. And then it would probably be in my best interest to like take some of this land down here because he doesn't have any, um, what's it called, stuff down there. We can have him concede Australia. Does Australia have any men to land over there? Nope, not not a single one. Okay, they have some somehow. Okay. Ugh. Colonial vassals are just so pointless. They do nothing. Like. Why do I have the 13 colonies over here? I guess they are sieging down Canadian provinces, but like... British Columbia is actually doing nothing, I'm pretty sure. Let's get you guys down here. You do not need to force march all that way. No chance I'm going to be conceding Australia. This is really that much? That's a lot of war score. Sheesh. All right, well, let's see here. I think this is wasteland. So I wouldn't be able to get my men down there anyways. Like, not by walking, at least. Um, Scandinavia has a lot of the Ivory Coast. Interesting. Which vassals do I have? Prussia, Bulgaria... Bulgaria's got 22, 16. So we, we have some men. We have some men in the field. 
Um, like, look at this. How do you have that many men? Castilian Brazil is 32, 18. Like, he has so many men. Goodness gracious. Truce with Delhi is up. Just speed five it. I don't care a whole lot. He can attack me. That's fine. <laughs> Where did we get rebels at? So let's see here. Can we piece you out? We can. Do I take some monies? No. Can I break your alliance with... They are guaranteeing Russia. Or Russia is guaranteeing them. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> um, can we have you guys... So you're not allied to Castile anymore. Oh, well then I'll just white piece you. I don't care. Makes that a lot easier for us. Um, trade ideas. Fine. Let's actually continue these clicks over here. Uh, that's 25, so this one will be 25. Getting there. Nope, that's that's not the button I clicked. Oh, they took this back already. Um, so I'm not going to be able to take all of this. I would like to just take like one province. That's gold, but I'm kind of past the point where gold is important for me. So, let's see here. I mean, they're gonna give me what I want. It's just a matter of like, how hard am I willing to work to get it? Okay, so that's done. Mostly I just want all their forts. That way it makes it easier to gobble them up later on. Once I get on their capital down here, if I can siege that down real quick, that would be easy war score for me. Matter of fact, I could even take the five or the 10 provinces I need. Oh, what? I don't want my heir to die. Lame. In a siege, come on now. We lost the siege of Benin. Feels good, man. All right, we can pay for army professionalism, certainly. Indubitably. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what about like if I don't take that? I don't take like some of this stuff down here. Do, do I care if I have a colonial nation down here? Not as much. So. Sounds good to me. Let's go with that. Let's roll with it. We'll roll with it. Let's go with overextension and then do what we can at a time. Please. We will build. Uh, can I core this? Let's uh do one of those guys right there. Am I still getting pirates hitting, killing my lands? Like, I will kill you. I will kill you all. I will kill every single one of you. Castile has revoked their guarantee towards Aragon. <laughs> Can't imagine why. 
Um, if I wanted to, I could um, client state all this. Well, not all of this, but like all this down here. But I won't. I won't. What kind of ideas for Diplo? We have influence, so we could if we wanted to. Um, I think we could probably ditch exploration and maybe go with like a, you know, admin idea. But at this point, you know, we're more just kind of geared towards finishing up the achievement. James, the 232, I will uh, gladly disinherit you, you turd. Please just let me core the land, please. And we finish this idea group, get another merchant, as well as what policies? Trade efficiency, movement speed. Trade efficiency, interest per annum. Ooh, idea cost, institution spread. That's a good one. Diplo relations and reinforcement cost. Lots of trade, lots of trade. So we have two new merchants. Let's uh, transfer from a couple places that are useful. Um, Maybe none of this is very useful. Gulf of St. Lawrence, and this is going where? North Sea. So let's transfer from here, and then transfer from here. So that'll take us from 672 up to what? Oh my goodness gracious. Where are those rebels at though? There's always rebels popping up. It's hard to keep track. Let's have you guys uh, hunt pirates in Genoa, I guess. Probably doesn't do a whole lot, right? Oh, it does. Very good. Um, I don't know where those rebels were though. Not so sure. I have no claims over here that need to be pressed. Hmm. I could just kind of consolidate my lands. I don't have any aggressive expansion over here to speak of. If I wanted to, I could... To guaranteed by the Ottomans. What? How does that work? How do you guarantee random country over here? Hainaut hey is uh, a PU under Austria. Very good. What about Lorraine? Nope, just Aachen. <laughs> I suppose if I want more trade down here, but mostly I'm just looking for the trade up here. So let's see here. Who is this? Utrecht is uh, Aachen and Hesse. I should do this. I should just do this. Um, yeah. Let's just do this. I don't know why I haven't. I've been putting it off. Don't really have a reason to. Let's just get you guys up there. Good riddance. You sunk their flagship. Said you sunk my battleship. Core some more stuff up. I like having overextension. Yeah, it's like nobody's gonna nobody's gonna ever bother my land, so it's nothing I need to be too concerned about. Let's build one there as well. Let's build um some down here, I suppose. Just so I don't have to deal with the Indians, you know, sieging down my stuff. Let's build... Yeah, let's build one right there. Sounds good. And then what else? Conscription centers. Could build in our vassals' lands, right? Have them get that extra force limit. That's my land. I don't need that. Um, and then what about, like, training fields in his lands as well? Keep that manpower nice and high, right? Build more of these, don't need that. Let's just build some stock exchanges in our vassals. Keep their income nice and high. Let's actually build some manufacturies in our, in our dudes over here. This will help our income out a, a bunch, actually. I didn't even really think about building the stuff over there. Totally should have been doing this the whole time. So, got lots of that building over here. So that'll send a ton more money over our way. So, we'll see our, in, our uh, income shoot up here in a few few months. Let's get to Utrecht's capital there. 
The goal is to take anything that's in the English Channel. So I'd, I'm going to full annex him is the plan then. Yeah, I can do that. Let's see here. Get you guys over there. Very good. Who else am I at war with? These guys I don't care about. No, not Ambrose. He's a good general. Debate time. Colonists, advisor cost. Army, or I mean trade, is always something I'm interested in, so we'll do that. So that changes our trade income to what? <laughs> Goodness gracious. That is incredible. <laughs> Absolutely nutty. Alright, so let's get you guys He's down. Come on now. Hopefully they can handle those. I'm not really interested in fighting rebels for him. Can make states nowhere interesting. Can you actually state this up? You can if you want. Does it change anything? I don't think it does. Did I just delete these things? It does. That's so bogus. Why would it delete them? Interesting. So we won the Siege of Utrecht. Um, let's just get these other dudes pieced out here. So let's get you guys... <laughs> Give me a break. You guys, let's get you, get you down here into Aachen and get you guys over here. Do we unlock these? I think it deleted a bunch of stuff too. So confused. Separatists where? Gosh. Ay ay ay. Spanish. Let's get Hessa do all these clicks here. I'll have to. Very good. Now I can full annex him, take all his money. We can uh, core some stuff up eventually. We're overextended, don't care. Not gonna be a big deal in the long term. Our colony was damaged, but it's fine. So these rebels are some for some reason running up here. They can just walk right through my forts, which is always fine. Don't care about Portuguese opinion on me. Fort's gonna take care of that. Where are the other rebels at? Not in my lands, don't care. Oh, what a joke, man. I can't even get my men over there. Friesland, let me over there, please. So, institution is coming. So I'm thinking I might actually have to move my capital, but I don't know exactly how that works. We'll see. If I have to move my capital, I will. It's not a huge deal. I'll move it to like Calais or something, but it just seems funky to me, you know?
right. We should probably have some guys over here to put down rebels. Let's go with uh, just like, you know, a little small stack. Uh, 30 stack sounds good. Get you guys. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're never they're never going to build her. So let's just get you guys over there. Bulgaria, I will marry you. Yes, sir. And I will convert these provinces for you. Truce with Scandinavia is up. It's all good. Um, yeah, I'll keep paying for them. Admin power sounds nice to me. Mercantilism is definitely right. We got some more savages damaging our colony. That's almost done. So dumb. So dumb. Yeah, we'll keep on uh, influencing you. When can we do these clicks? September. So what I'm going to do is just to see if there's a way that I can spawn the institution. I'm going to move my capital to Paris. I might be able to, or not Paris, to uh, Calais. Oh, right. Um, is there anything I have over here that's more dev than that? So, Con, or however it's pronounced, is higher dev. Uh, not by much, though. So let's actually... So expensive to dev it, and I'm still doing the clicks anyways. Controlled by an estate? Well, not anymore. Let's move our capital. So now can we spawn it? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. People of Calais has been granted a seat in our parliament. Very good. So London, Londinium. Let's upgrade the church. Why not? The old capital. I don't know. I mean, this doesn't make sense roleplay-wise, but we're going to go with it, you know? Take some mercantilism. Going to wrap up this episode. I mostly just want to see if we can spawn the institution the first time around here. Okay, let's get some free points from these estates. They can be mad. I don't care. Okay, so we got Argentina. Don't care about them anymore. Definitely not even going to be using my guys. So my uh, my dudes, my colonists. Um, and let's see here. Does it spawn? Hey, we didn't spawn it. I'm upset. We didn't spawn it. How does that happen? How did you spawn it, you dingus? Oh, right. The leader matters, right? Now oh, we have to... Wait. What? Hold on a second. Now I'm really confused. Doesn't it say in order to spawn it, the it has to have a leader that has like a five skill or something like that? I don't know. That's suspicious. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get it pretty fast because we have a university in like all of these provinces, so we'll be good. Regardless, that'll do it for the what this one. So if you guys are enjoying and you wanna see some more of this, you can subscribe if you're excited for us to uh, wrap this up. In the next episode, I'm thinking will be the last one or somewhere around there. Uh, show your support, leave a like, and if you want to check in the Discord or support me on Patreon, links for those are going to be linked in the description down below. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. I'd like to give a big special shout out to Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Radu the Beautiful, Lemongrass Bob, Bloodbound92, Minor Joe, and Lambda Driver for your guys' awesome support on Patreon. I encourage you guys to check out a couple of the playlists I got listed over there on the right and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys soon.